I'm Mel and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new please subscribe um, and I thank everyone who has watched and subscribed so far and if you are new welcome to my channel so in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you the Birchbox UK um, beauty subscription box for the month of May um, and I am in I have mixed opinions on this box. I have opened it to look in it um, just because, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue with Birchbox or not because I'm a little disappointed with what is in this box this month. But anyway, I will start this video now, so let's begin. And I will show you the box now. So this is the box. It's like a mink pink with like, the leaves all over it, which I think is a really pretty box. And then the birch box is in the gold and white writing again. And then it's just got like the uh, minky pink color drawer. Um, so I think the box is really cute. Um, and I really like the print on the box um, itself. Um, so I'm gonna open this now and show you what I've got inside. So I am going to start back to front again and this is the leaflet and it says palm leaves and warm breeze and um, so this is the May box and then it tells you everything you've got inside a June sneak peek and then a competition at the bottom to win a Elizabeth Scarlet London bundle which is worth £250 so yes I'm going to show you now the products and then I'll go back to the leaflet. So the first one I've picked up is this, which is the Native Unearthed Active Activated Charcoal. It's a natural deodorant palm. And I'm not sure if you can pick this up on camera. Yeah, it's like a silvery grey colour and it smells a bit like opus oil like if you've got a cold it's like the lavender in it is what it is so if you're into trying natural remedies and stuff like this I mean I would give it a go I mean you don't need much at all it says rub a pea sized amount between your fingers and apply it I just don't feel like the scent of it, like the smell of it, the fragrance is really nice. It just smells like you've got cold and you've got opus oil on. But yeah, if you are up for like a, a cruelty free or that malarkey, um, natural remedies, then this is definitely a worth a try. But this one I don't think is for me purely on the smell alone. Anything else, I'll definitely give it a go, but for that, the smell, I literally think you'll just smell like you've got a cold and you need to breathe properly. So the second thing I have got is Green Frog's Botanic, Botanic Natural Body Wash, which is this. And this is uh, Peppermint and peppermint flavour. I smell it. Now this actually smells really nice and it's quite refreshing. Um, it's a beauty shortlist award. It's been like beauty shortlist awarded in 2017. Um, I'm definitely gonna give this a go. Um, it smells really nice and refreshing like peppermint. Um, and this is plant-based again, organic. Um, so this is perfect. So this is definitely, I'm gonna definitely try this and I love the smell of it. So this is a plus for me. This is what I will try for sure. I have naturally curly hair and you may have seen me uh, the past few months wearing my actual natural hair, which I hardly do ever, but I've been giving it a go yet yeah, again because I used to wear it natural all the time don't anymore 
but this is Bumble and Bumble BB Curl Style Defining Cream. I love the packaging on this, it's really simple. I'm not sure if this picks it up on camera, but it's got the orange behind the BB cream bit. Um, and this is it's literally, it's to style your hair. And it's just rake through damp hair from roots to ends and air dry or diffuse. So this would definitely work on my, well, I don't know, but I think it would definitely work on my hair and um, make my curl nat uh, nicer than it is naturally. Um, so I definitely want to try this. I'm going to smell it again because I am. And that's again smells nice. It's kind of orangey. Yeah, so it's a kind of like a tangerine orange flavour and a fl like scent. So this is really, I mean again it's a handy sign to go on holiday and to wear your hair natural on holiday is really easy to just jump in the shower, chuck this in, off you go. So this is a must for anything like this is a must. But again, it's a handy size to go on holiday. So I'll definitely be trying that one. So this is what I got next, which is the Ico London Skinny Liquid Eyeliner in Black. Um, I'm actually running out of eyeliner. Um, and I'm just about to just do a clinic order to try to get some more. But I'm I'm going to probably try this. I don't really like liquid eyeliner, I must admit. Because I think... Well, for me, it's probably because of practice. If I practiced this with this all the time, I'd probably be perfect at it. But I just find the pencil so much better to use. Um, it says that it is um, precise, uh, smudge proof and pitch black. I do wear just black... Um, I think it's got really black the Clinique eyeliner I use. So this is the right um, shade for me. This again is really handy to take on holiday because it's smaller. But I'm just not a fan of liquid eyeliner. Um, I will try it though. Finally I've got this uh, Luxurious Lip Stain. And it is in 611 Amber Rose. I believe I picked this colour because I thought it was more natural. Let me just... But actually it's more pink um, but it's really pretty pink um, and if you were going out uh, for an evening or just for a nice occasion or if you wear lips lipstick each day I think this is a nice color and depending on your skin tone and stuff like that I think this would really suit a lot of people so that again is nice I I don't know if any of you know, I think I have told you this before, but I struggle with lip sticks, lip glosses, because they shred my lips. So um, I'm going to give that a go and see if it works. Uh, fingers crossed. So now I'm going to just go through this quickly. Um, nothing was full size. Yeah, nothing was full size this month. Um, however, like I seem to say in most videos for Birchbox, it allows you to try different um, brands and also it also gives you the chance to take things like this away on holiday because uh, they are the small travel sizes. Um, so yes, that I am am slightly disappointed with Birchbox this month. I'm going to give you the honest review. Um, I just don't think it is as good as any of the other months that I have had. Um, I always seem to feel that the UK box is better than the US, for example. Um, but this month, I mean, it may be wonderful for you, but for me personally, it isn't. I th well, really, there's only two products in this box that I would, I will use fully. Three, depending if the lip. Um, stain actually stays on my lips and doesn't rip my uh, lips to shred, shred my lips basically. But anyway, that is the box. So this is the box. Um, I love the box, like I said earlier, but the products inside were a little bit disappointing for me. So that is it for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Please comment down below if you were happy with your birch box, if you got a birch box this month, and 
If you didn't, which was your favourite product from my box? Please also subscribe, push the notification bell to see when I post and thanks for watching. Bye!